in case you're wondering why I've already got the uh, the hat on, the captain's hat, it's because my hair is a bit messy today and I don't want any of you to know about it. So I'm keeping the hat on, so it's just a secret. Hi, welcome to Midnight Mule FPL. This is the video where we look at getting you into the top 5%. It's based on you having set your team according to the video I released a couple of weeks ago saying set your team by this and I gave you lots of choices. The idea being during the season I'll be able to make suggestions that you make to your squad. You follow them, just blindly follow my instructions. When there's a choice you toss a coin or go however you want to. You should end up in the top 5% globally and hopefully high up in your mini league. So for everyone who's following this series you should have the following six players in your team. We're calling them bankers. So Cancelo got 11 points week two, Trent got three, Jesus got 19, Martinelli got eight, Salad two and Halland five. Halland was the captain with the old mule hat so he actually gets 10 points because it gets doubled. So the worst player of these six got two, the best was 19, they averaged 8.8 .8, which means your six bankers got 53 points and if your mini league's got say 10 or more managers in it there's a reasonable chance one or two of them actually got fewer than 53 points with all 11 of their players so let's keep going your keeper would have got one point whichever keeper you had for your defenders there are three there's Trippier who got seven Cash who got two and Doherty but if you watched last week's video we said put Doherty on the bench so you either got two points or seven so this defender slot got an average of four and a half points the second defender option was between James or Diaz, so you either got six or seven points, obviously an average of six and a half. The midfielder, you'll have one of these four, Diaz who got nine, or Saka who got two, or Foden who got nine, or Kuliseski who got two, that's an average of five and a half, minimum two, maximum nine. The second midfielder, which is our cheap midfielder, we never expect anything from these really, Almoron got three, Bailey got one obviously an average of two there. So for the 11 players you played, for all of those who are following this series, you'd have got a minimum of 65 points this week, a mac an, an average of 72 and a half and a maximum of 80. The global average was 57. So you should be well inside the top half of your mini league and we're certainly moving in the right direction to end up in the top 5%. Transfers, as the season goes on, especially when the European midweek games start, I'll be suggesting we do the transfers near a deadline, but in the first few weeks of the season in particular, money moves up and down very quickly. That is, the value of the players increases and decreases quite quickly early on in the week. So I don't mind all the time there aren't European games midweek doing transfers earlier in the week. It is a bit risky, but money is very important, so that's why I'm suggesting we do this now. If you have Cash or Doherty, I'm suggesting you get rid of them. If you had Trippier, I was suggesting you hold him. You could change him now if you wanted to. If you fancy one of these ones I'm about to say instead, that's fine. But if you want to keep Trippier, that's fine as well. So I'm suggesting you go for Carl Walker. But if you already have three Man City players, you can't have him. So go for Koulibaly instead. If you also have three Chelsea players, you can't get him, so you go for Zinchenko. If somehow you have three players from each of these teams, then go for Dunk, because you won't have three Brighton players. Now for the um, to deciding which 11 players you're going to play, all we need to do is discuss who's going to be on your bench, and then the 11 players sort out themselves. So Danny Ward is the goalkeeper on the bench. The third position on the bench, if I get my left right, which is that side for me, that side for you as you look at the screen. The third position is Archer or Taylor. The second and first position, same deal as last week. I'm going to show you some players. The first one you have goes in position number two. The second one you have goes in position number one. So if you've got Bailey, he goes on your bench. Andreas goes on your bench. And Almiron goes on your bench. Now you should all have two of those three. So your bench should now be full. However, if you particularly fancy playing one of those three, Almon, Andreas and, or Bailey, that's fine. Your next bench choice would be Williams or Patterson. However, I think both of those have a reasonable chance of outscoring Almon, Andreas or Bailey. 
So I would suggest you go with the bench I'm saying. And for next week's scoring, when I look at it, I'll be assuming you went with, the, you went with that bench. It's the same deal with the captain. I'm going to make a captain suggestion, but obviously do whatever you like. So it's between Salah and Haaland are the obvious choices. And the old mule hat goes on Salah. And then last week after I released the video, somebody told me I forgot to say who the vice captain was. So the vice captain, he just gets a little hat, is going to be Haaland. An absolutely okay captain is Jesus. I'm sure many people globally will be captaining him. But we're trying to get in the top 5% globally. So we need to try and think what a popular move is going to be. Hopefully all that made sense. Hopefully it was straightforward and simple enough. So all the best for the coming week. Let me know in the comments. Let everyone else know in the comments where you are in your mini league. Unless you know me personally and you don't want people to know that you're doing this. Thanks. Bye.